Uh, okay, now this time you're going to talk about series of actions in the past. Now, what is a series of actions? Three, four, five things that took place at any time in the past. For example, if I say, today morning I woke up at around 7 o'clock. After that, I dropped my daughter to her school and then I returned home, had my breakfast, got ready and came to Royal Palm. Now, I made five, six past sentences, right? We call this series of actions in the past. So, this is basically the series of actions we have in the past. In the same way, you can say, I went to the concert, had fun there and came back home. Or you can say, I went to Islamabad, uh, dropped my relative there and came back. Right. So just like this series of actions, two, three, four actions, it all, all depends on you. Now, let's start from you. I went to Islamabad. I went to Islamabad. I went to Islamabad and attend, um, attended a meeting. Yeah, you will not use and. And will be used with the last thing. I went to Islamabad, attended a meeting and came back home. Like okay. that. I went to Islamabad, attended a meeting and came back home. One more. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, I went to my office, uh, finished some office tasks and came back home. Very good. That's right. Next, please. I came from Islamabad uh, last uh, two, two hours. Two hours ago. Two, ago. two hours ago. I came back from Islamabad La two hours ago. Two hours ago. Uh, then I, uh, then I uh, performed uh, Juma. Uh, then I offered Friday prayers. Offered. Then I offered Friday, Friday prayers. prayers. After that, uh, I came to uh, English uh, yes, spoken class. Yes, I came class to attend spoken to attend English class. Spoken, spoken English class. Very good. Next, please. Two hours ago. Two hours ago. Plural. Two, tower, two hours ago. Two hours ago. Two hours ago. Two hours ago, I went to. I, I attended. I attended parents meeting. Then okay, I, I attended parent teacher meeting. Then teacher I then then I went to home. Then I went home. Went to home and repaired myself. And prepared myself, myself to come to, to come here. To come here. To come here. Uh, in this okay. Class. Good. Yesterday I woke up. In the I woke up. Yeah. I woke up in the morning. I took. Uh, then I took a shower. Then I came. I the try to make two three sentences in a sequence. Like yesterday I woke up in the morning took shower and came here something like yeah. that okay two to three actions in one sentence right yeah yesterday i walk uh, uh, five o'clock five at i clock. woke up i woke up five at five o'clock at five o'clock i take shower i took shower i took shower i have breakfast i had breakfast i had breakfast. Uh, you are making all separate sentences you need to make sequence wise sentences in one complete thing for example yesterday i woke up had shower and then i took my breakfast something like that okay make another one yesterday i finished finished i yesterday i finished my university class and uh, uh, I I came yeah right yesterday home. I finished my university class and then I came here or something like that or I went back home okay all right so this is all past simple t okay now let's move on after this past we are going to practice past continuous tense for example in the past at a certain point you were doing something for that we use past continuous for instance if I say at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. If you ask me, what were you doing at 3 a.m.? I would say, I was sleeping. I was sleeping. If you ask me, what did you do at 1 p.m. today, afternoon, 1 p.m.? I would say, I was offering my Friday prayer. I was offering means in the past, at a certain point, you were in the middle of doing something. Like you can say, at 12 o'clock, I was attending parent-teacher meeting. At 11 o'clock, I was working on some assignments. At 4 p.m. yesterday, I was traveling from Islamabad to Lahore. Right? At 8 o'clock, I was having breakfast. Now, you will mention the time. This is past continuous tense. Like at 8 o'clock, at 5 p.m., at 6 p.m. Right? At 9 o'clock, I was driving to Royal Palm. 
something like that okay so try to use continuous action one thing you can say at nine o'clock i drove to royal palm now when you say i drove to royal palm means action started there but when you say at nine o'clock i was driving to royal palm it means the action was going on so you will talk about going on action past continuous tense was were with ing form of the verb right yes let's just take a start so today uh, five uh, yesterday uh, seven o'clock yesterday at seven o'clock yesterday at seven o'clock i was cleaning my teeth uh, uh, and uh, eight o'clock i uh, i was traveling uh, in the bus uh, at eight o'clock i was traveling by bus by bus uh, and uh, um, 8:30 at 8:30 at 8:30 o'clock uh, i was listening uh, my lecture i was attending my lecture uh, i was attending my lecture and uh, one uh, at 1 o'clock i was came here i was coming here was all coming action here. is continuous means you want to say main yahan aa raha tha next please Yesterday I was traveling to Islamabad. Good. Uh, at eight o'clock, I was taking my lunch. Uh, uh, I was taking my breakfast. Good. Uh, before half an hour, I was driving to Royal Palm. Good. Uh, at uh, five o'clock, uh, I per performed. I, I was performing my prayer. Okay, that's good. Next one, please. At eleven o'clock, I was driving to school. Good. At um, at twelve o'clock, I repairing myself. I was. I was repairing myself. Repa preparing. Pre preparing. I was preparing for my. Pre what? Preparing. You said repairing. Yeah. What were you repairing? Preparing. Preparing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, at uh, ten o'clock a.m., I cooked a dinner. I was oh, having dinner. Cooked a lunch. Yeah, dinner at 10 a.m. Huh? Okay, 10 p.m. So you should say I was having dinner at 10 p.m. Yeah, English के चक्कर में अपना सारा कुछ भुला दें. 10 a.m. dinner, 10 p.m. breakfast and all that. Next please. Yes, yesterday 6:30 I. Yesterday at 6:30. Yes, yesterday 6:30, uh, I was going to my family doctor. Yeah, I was going to my family doctor. Doctor. Good. Uh, yesterday uh, the five. o'clock at 5 o'clock at 5 at 5 o'clock uh, i uh, i was go i was going to my uh, sister in law house i was going to my sister in law's house sister in law's house uh, <coughs> today uh, today five o'clock today at five o'clock today, today at five o'clock uh, i dropped my i was dropping uh, I, i was i was dropping Uh, my wife uh, uh, to the airport at the airport at the airport good job next please yesterday at uh, almost 4:30 i was going back to home i was going back home not going to back home to i was going back home i was going back home after that i was spending time with my kids good and uh, at night i was telling a story yeah i was telling a story i was telling a story to my kids to my kids very good and uh, at 10:30 i was preparing for sleep yeah i was preparing for sleep very good all right now this time we are going to use double tenses in one sentence for example when you called me i was sleeping when you called me past simple i was sleeping past continuous tense right so in the same way i can say uh when i was coming here someone called me or when i reached home my kids were waiting for me when i reached home past simple my kids were waiting for me past continuous right in the same way you can say uh when i reached islamabad everybody was waiting for me when i reached islamabad everybody was waiting for me when i reached home my children were waiting for me something like that so when i reached home second form past simple and children were waiting for me is past continuous for example when i reached the university professor was delivering the lecture something like that okay now please make three to four sentences like this let's start from here today when i reached office 
two visitors waiting for me two visitors were waiting for me two visitors were waiting for me good next when i reached uh, to my office when i reached my office when i reached my office not to my office when i reached my office when i reached my office uh, um, the people's waiting for me people were waiting for me people's make some more senses two to three senses people were waiting for me okay uh, when i uh, when i reached dubai um uh my friends wait, wait my friends waiting for me my friends were waiting for were me waiting. yeah were my friends were, were waiting, waiting for me next when i reached the school uh, my son is waiting for my me my son was waiting for me my son was waiting for me good when we driving to palm when we were driving to royal palm royal palm we talking we were okay listen you can say uh we were chatting right we were chatting when we drove to royal palm when we drove to royal palm we were chatting right yeah next when my friends were calling me uh when my friend was Call, calling no called me when my friend called me i was when my friend called me i was sleeping good and yesterday when i was uh, when i was came uh, to royal palm when i came to royal palm when i came to royal palm uh you were learning uh, you were teaching you the were students teaching in the students that's good very good next please when i reached uh, sanma and the movie was starting the movie was going on the movie was, was going, going on, on. Uh, uh when i reached home uh my sister was waiting okay that's right and all right that's fine now let's move on uh this time we are going to learn past perfect tense now there are two pasts one is past simple and one is past perfect right two actions when they take place simultaneously for the action that took place before that action that would be past simple i explain how for example uh i reached here at 10 o'clock i reached here at 10 o'clock my colleague jasin he reached here at 9:30 i reached at 10 o'clock 10 a.m. he reached here at 9:30 so what would i do i would say today when i came to royal palm at 10 o'clock my colleague had already reached my colleague had already reached means mera colleague pehle hi se aa chuka tha chuka tha aur aa gaya tha aur aaya hua tha right that is going to be past perfect tense we use had i we you he she it they with every pronoun we use had and along with had we use third form of the verb right for example you can say last night when i reached home my children had slept last night when i reached home my children had slept you can say when i reached my office all my staff members had come right you can say when i came back from islamabad my son had reached home right last night when i went back home my mother had already come okay so two actions for example to say when i reached the railway station the train had arrived when i reached the airport the aeroplane had landed you went to receive someone so you say when i reached the airport or when i reached at the airport the aeroplane had landed aeroplane had landed means jahaz uttar chuka tha something like that okay so now you'll make some senses using past simple and past perfect right when i went to the cinema the movie had finished when i went to the cinema the movie had finished so it means i went there at 10 o'clock movie finished before 10 o'clock okay yeah sir when i uh, when i when i reached uh, uh, when i reached the uh, wedding ceremony Uh, when i reached the wedding the function had finished the function had or the function had started the function had started good and when i reached uh, uh, when i reached uh, the hospital uh, the doctor had go, go gone go. the doctor had gone when i reached the hospital the doctor had gone when i went to attend the parent teacher meeting it had finished something like that okay and the, when when uh, i reached uh, the 
म्यूजियम 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 द डोर हैड closed yeah it had closed when i reached the museum it had closed next please when i woke up in the morning when i woke up when i woke up in the morning the breakfast were finished had the breakfast had finished breakfast not breakfast uh, the breakfast had finished the breakfast had he makes fun of you now we make fun <laughs> of him exactly yeah the breakfast had finished had, had finished when i went to uh, when i went to the bathroom for a shower the water was the water had run out the water had run out pani khatam ho chuka tha kismat hi kharab nashta khatam pani khatam now what else when i started my car the petrol was finished the petrol had finished start kaise ki when i tried to start my car when i tried to start my car the, the petrol, petrol had, had finished. finished okay finished or run out run out run out means khatam ho jana okay run out uh, from a petrol no the car had run out of petrol run, run out. out of petrol run, run when out. i went to take shower the water tank had run out of water run out like of water that. okay next please when i went to emporium mall uh, it had closed it had closed okay when mm. i go when i went to when i cooked uh, the dinner where uh, it uh, it had you can say when yes. i cooked dinner the guests had come jab maine khana banaya to mehman aa chuke the when i cooked dinner the guests yes. had come. come when i go to sleep when, when I, i went to when i went to sleep then nothing can I, happen uh, okay <laughs> yeah you can say when i reached home my children had gone to sleep Left. yeah exactly next please when i reached home when i reached home uh light had gone yeah the light had gone or the power had failed power had or failed. you can use the word power cut power when cut. i reached home uh, the power had cut hmm. or there had been a power cut uh, when i uh, when, when i came to uh, uh, royal palm uh, sir asad had gone yeah had gone all right <laughs> okay <laughs> uh, you can say when i reached royal palm the class had started or <laughs> very good <laughs> all right you please uh, when i entered into seminar hall the keynote speaker had finished the speech very good keynote speaker had finished his speech his speech okay and uh, when i reached my office one of my guest had left the office okay one of my after that we always use plural one of my guests had left the office left the right yeah. okay one more uh, when i reached home day before yesterday uh, the kids were the kids had gone to the sleep the kids had gone to sleep past perfect well done okay. very good okay guys so this was past perfect tense now we'll just practice a little past perfect continuous as you know in present perfect continuous we said i have been working here for 6 month i have been doing this business for 5 years and all that in past perfect you will just use had been right for example you can say it had been raining since morning when i woke up it had been raining since morning when i woke up means you woke up in the past at a time and before that it had been raining right in the same way you can say <coughs> my colleagues had been waiting for me for 2 hours when i reached there my colleagues had been waiting for me for 2 hours when i reached there right or you can say uh, the teacher had been delivering the lecture for 15 minutes when i entered the classroom means teacher 15 minutes se lecture deliver kar rahe the when i entered the classroom so you will use past perfect continuous with past simple tense right in the same you can say uh when i reached the marriage hall or wedding hall uh everybody had been eating for one hour like that yes please today when i entered in class the class was going for, had been going had on. been going on from For, for last thirty minutes. Yeah, for the last thirty minutes. Today, when I entered the class, with enter we don't use in. Today, when I entered the class, the class had been going on for thirty minutes. Very good. One more. Uh, yesterday, when I entered uh, the office, the office, the office, two of my guests had been waiting for me. Very good. Yeah, two of my guests had been waiting for me for one hour, two hours, like that. Well done. Next, please. 
when I reached the bus stop, uh, the, my bus had been gone. Okay, now this is not past continu past perfect continuous and simple. You see, you can convert it like this. Uh, when I reached the bus stop, the bus driver had been waiting for me for five minutes. Like that. Bus driver wait nahi karega, but ah, aapka ah, sentence seedha karne ke liye, okay? Yes. So when I reach the bus stop, the driver had been waiting for me um, for five minutes. Right, one more. Uh, when I reached my office, uh, my, uh, my customer had, uh, my customer had been waiting for me. Yeah, my customers had been waiting for me uh, for one uh, hour, uh, half uh, hour. Time is important here. Right, okay, next please. When I reached to school um, it has been yeah when I reached school my children had, had been, been waiting for me for half an hour school so when I reached school my children had been waiting for me for half an hour and and when I when I reached to home uh, my my father waiting my father had when been I waiting fa for my me my father had been waiting for me for me for one, half an hour one, one, one hour, hour, hour 15 minutes like that okay good next one please when i went to the restaurant 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 i have been waiting for two hours mm, okay listen uh when i went is not appropriate here you can say when i reached the restaurant i had been waiting for two hours okay and when i went to the football ground my players had been, been had been waiting for 10 minutes yeah my players had been waiting for 10 minutes that's good one more when i when i went to the school when I went to school, when I went to school, my teacher was uh, well, my had teacher been. had been waiting for me. Okay, when I reached school, my teacher had been waiting for me. Okay, good. Next one, please. When I reached hostel, my friend had been waiting uh, two hours. My friends had been waiting for me for two hours, for or had been waiting for two hours. Correct. Uh, when I reached university, my uh, professor had had been delivered. Had been delivering. Had been delivering lecture uh, for 30 minutes. For 30 minutes. Okay, that's fine. So this is past perfect continuous tense, right?